I think deep down in, in, in the heart and soul of every individual, they, they want to know that they really count. They want to know that what they do really matters. I've actually learned that 82% of employees believe that they're not recognized by their supervisor for what they do. And 60% of employees say they, they, they actually like recognition as much as money. And we've also learned that recognition happens very rarely. You know, the average person in, in any company gets recognized, if they're lucky, about once every two months. And what I want to do is, is, is spend the rest of my life really building uh, awareness of this fact and, and really driving home the fact that, you know, as leaders and as, as family heads, you know, our job is to, to let people know that they're really recognized for the great gifts that they have and all the contributions they bring to, the, to, the, to a business and, and to the world. The job of the leader is to create that work environment where people know that, that you care about them. And once you care about them as a leader, I guarantee you they're going to care about you. It's sort of like this, you know, I've never liked anybody that didn't like me. I bet you haven't either. I've never really trusted somebody that didn't trust me. And so if you want to get people invested in you, boy, show them that you care about them and then they'll care about you and they'll care about the company more and they'll come to work every day wanting to do all they can to make the company a success. The best way to recognize somebody is to, is to listen to them. When you listen to them, you show that you really care. If you listen to them, two things happen. Number one, you actually learn something because these people know a lot about your business. And if you can just basically say, hey, listen, if you had my job or if you could give me some input, what would it be? And then you listen to what they have to say and then you respond, then you're showing that you actually care. I think there's two reasons why people don't recognize other people. Number one, they think if they do, they don't trust people. They think, oh, they're not going to work hard enough. If I recognize you and tell you you're doing a good job, you'll take the pressure off, the, uh, off yourself or you won't put the pedal to the metal anymore, so you won't work as hard, which is absolutely crazy. People work harder when they know that they're, they're really being noticed. The other thing is, is if I recognize you, boy, somebody else is going to wish they're going to get recognized. And you know what? What's wrong with that? You know, find what they're doing too and recognize their behaviors that are driving your business. Thank you in my mind, I don't know if it's one word or two words, like sometimes I get confused about that, but thank you is the most powerful phrase in our, our language. It, it says, I appreciate what you do. I noticed it. It's not that hard to do. You know, it's why we teach our kids to say thank you. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it, it, it's, it's important. But if you don't say thank you, you're not noticing what people do. You're, you're actually taking advantage of what they do in my mind. And how hard is it? How hard is it to say thank you? It's not that hard. And it's very, very powerful when you do it. You know, one of the things you may notice by my hairdo is that, you know, I've, I, I have, usually I have a full head of hair. But, you know, I discovered about three or four months ago that I have male breast cancer, which is a very rare, rare thing. And one of the things I'll tell you about having cancer, you know, thank God you're not hit by a bus. You know, if you're hit by a bus, it's over. You know, if you have cancer, you have the opportunity to tell people that you love, you love them. And then you also have the opportunity to have people tell you that they love you. And that's an unbelievable thing that really, it's, it's almost in its own way, it's, it's a blessing. And, but it, it's really made me stop and reflect. You know, gosh, what if you were hit by a bus? You know, what if you hadn't recognized that person? What if you hadn't told a family member or a friend or associate how much you appreciate him? You know, what a waste. What a waste. And I think, you know, this has really driven home to me even more of the importance of, of recognizing others and appreciating people and letting people know just how much you value them. And, you know, doing it for people who really are deserving. That's a joy. That's a joy of leadership, and I think it's a joy of being a good human being.